Hi everyone! It's me again, Sheka, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Ayan! So I know na matagal na po kayong naghihintay for a new Japanese tutorial. Sa wakas ay nakagawa din po ako ng video. Ayan, and I know that this is one of the most requested topics. At alam ko, some of you are excited to watch this. So if you're interested in this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. Ayan, please like this video and share it to your friends and families na interested din sa pag-aaral ng Nihongo. And later after this video, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Ayun! For today's topic, tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano sabihin ang days, months, and year sa Japanese. So without further ado, let's learn how to say your birthday in Japanese. First of all, let's learn the days of the week. For days of the week, kailangan nyo unang tandaan yung yobi. Yung yobi ay ikinakabit sa kada day of the week. Okay? So, for Monday, we have Getsu Yobi. Getsu Yobi. Tuesday, Ka Yobi. Ka Yobi. Wednesday, Sui Yobi. Sui Yobi. Thursday, Moku Yobi. Moku Yobi. Friday, Kin Yobi. Kin Yobi. Saturday, Do Yobi. Do Yobi. And, Sunday, Nichi Yobi. Nichi Yobi. Ayan. So, lahat sila nagtatapos sa Yobi. Okay? So, para matandaan nyo yung pagkakasunod-sunod, um, pwede nyo siyang tandaan this way. Getsu, Ka, Sui, Moku, Kin, Do, Nichi. Okay? So, Getsu, Monday. Ka, Tuesday. Sui, Wednesday. Moku, Thursday. Kin, Friday, uh, Do, Saturday, and Nichi, Sunday. Okay? Then, didikitan nyo lang siya ng Yobi. Alright? <laughs> okay. One more time. Getsu Yobi. Kayobi. Si Yobi. Moku Yobi. Kin Yobi. Do Yobi. Nichi Yobi. Okay? Gets po ba? <laughs> Madali lang, di ba? Alright. Now, this time... Punta naman tayo sa days of the month. Okay. Ito medyo tricky siya. If you know the numbers in Japanese, you can count from 1 to 31. Okay? But, pagdating sa days of the month, hindi siya nagfo-follow completely dun sa counting ng number 1 to number 31. Okay? For the lesson in counting or numbers in Japanese, Meron po tayong video. Ito po yan. And the link will be in the description box below. Okay. So, ayun na nga. Hindi po follow ang days of the month sa numbers in Japanese, yung counting ng 1 to 31 completely. Okay? There are some special words for some days in a month. Alright? So, ayan. So, umpisahan na po natin. Okay? So, kung nakikita nyo itong calendar, <laughs> ayan, there are 31 days in a month, di ba? And, pag gusto mong sabihin na first day of the month, so, the first of the month, that is, tsuitachi. Tsuitachi. Second, or the second day of the month, that is, futsuka. Futsuka. Third, mikka. Mika. Fourth. Yoka. Yoka. Fifth. Itsuka. Itsuka. Sixth. Muika. Muika. Seventh. Nanoka. Nanoka. Eighth. Yoka. Yoka. Ninth. Kokonoka. Kokonoka. Tenth. Toka. Toka. Ayan. So those are the numbers from 1 to 10. <laughs> it's very different, di ba, dun sa uh, usual counting, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Di ba? 
different. So, yan po. Kailangan nyo talagang i-memorize yan. <laughs> Alright? Ulitin natin. Tsuitachi, putsuka, mikka, yokka, itsuka, muika, nanoka, yoka, kokonoka, toka. Okay? <laughs> Again, ulitin po natin. Tsuitachi, putsuka, Mika, yoka, itsuka, muika, nanoka, yoka, kokonoka, toka. Okay? <laughs> Alright. So, yun po yung 1 to 10. Now, let's go to the next part, no? From 11 to 19, ayan, medyo... Mm, hindi pa rin completely, no? Pero yung iba nagpo-follow na dun sa Japanese counting na, for example, 11 is Juichi, 12, Juni, 13, Jusan, ayan. So, yung iba nagpo-follow, alright? So, from 11 to 19, this is how you say the days of the month, okay? So, 11th is Juichi Nichi, Juichi Nichi. 12th, Juni Nichi, Juni Nichi. 13th, Jusan Nichi, Jusan Nichi. 14th, oops, <laughs> hindi po Juyon Nichi, okay? Since kanina, sinabi natin na yung fourth day of the month is Yokka, Yokka. Ang 14th day of the month will be Juyokka. Juyoka. Okay? Yan. Tandaan niyo po yan. Now, 15th day of the month, Jugonichi. Jugonichi. 16th, Jurokunichi. Jurokunichi. 17th, Jushichinichi. Jushichinichi. 18th, Juhachinichi. Juhachinichi. Okay. That one, Juhachinichi. Hindi po juyoka. Alright? No, it's not. It's ju hachi nichi. 19th is juku nichi. Juku nichi. Not juku, but juku nichi. Juku nichi. Okay? So yun yung 11th to 19th. Okay? One more time. 11th day of the month. Okay? Juichi nichi. 12th. Juni nichi, 13th, Jusan nichi, 14th, Juyokka, 15th, Jugo nichi, 16th, Juroku nichi, 17th, Jushichi nichi, 18th, Juhachi nichi, 19th, Juku nichi. Ayon! <laughs> so, from 11 to 19, yun po yung pagkakasunod-sunod. Now, for number 20, or the 20th day of the month, meron na namang special term, and that is Hatsuka. Hatsuka. So, tandaan niyo po, Hatsuka is the 20th day of the month. Okay? Now, from 21st to 31st, again, medyo nagpo-follow na naman ulit doon sa normal counting in Japanese. Pwede natin gamitin yung mga terms sa uh, usual counting in Japanese, okay? 21st or 21st day of the month, Niju Ichi Nichi. Niju Ichi Nichi. 22nd, Niju Ni Nichi. Niju Ni Nichi. 23rd, Niju San Nichi. Niju San Nichi. 24th, just like 14th, 24th uses the special term for number 4 or the 4th day of the month, which is yokka. So, 24th will be niju yokka. Again, 24th day of the month, niju yokka. Okay? <laughs> Alright, now, 25th, niju gonichi. Niju gonichi. 26th, niju roku nichi. 26th, 
Mochimochi.com Okay, so how does it work? Sa Mochi Mochi app po, you can learn new vocabulary every day, pero meron lang time. And it will remind you kung kailan pwede ka na ulit mag-aral. Then it will make you review yung mga pinag-aralan mo mula umpisa hanggang sa most recent. And it will focus more dun sa mga words or grammar points na madalas kang nagkakamali. Ayan. So, very good talaga itong Mochi Mochi app. Especially kung ikaw ay nagsiself-study. So, if you are interested in this app, nasa description box po at nasa comment section sa baba yung link to download the app. So, ayan. Ngayon, alam na natin yung specific terms for each day of the month. Ngayon naman, ano naman ang terms for each month? Okay? So, paano natin sasabihin yung January, February, March, April, and so on in Japanese? We have to use the suffix gatsu. And use the normal counting in Japanese for 1 to 10. For numbers 1 to 12. Okay? So, let's try. 1, 1. 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, or yon, but we are going to use shi. 5, go. 6 is roku. 7, nana or shichi, but we are going to use shichi. 8 is hachi. 9th is ku or ku, but we are going to use ku. 10, is ju. 11 is juichi and 12 is juni. Plus the suffix gatsu, which is the term for month. Okay? So ready na ba? <laughs> January. Ichi gatsu. Ichi gatsu. February. Ni gatsu. Ni gatsu. March. San gatsu. San gatsu. April. Shi gatsu. Shi gatsu. May. Go gatsu. Go gatsu. June. Roku gatsu. Roku gatsu. July. Shichi gatsu. 
7月 August 8月8月 September 9月9月 October 10月10月 November 11月11月 December 12月12月 Ayan. So again, tandaan nyo po na April is 4月 not 4月 July is 7月 not 7月 And September is 9月 not 9月 Okay? So again, January to December 1月2月3月4月5月6月5月6月7月8月9月10月11月12月 So, ang dami po natin kailangang i-memorize. And yung numbers ang isa sa mga tricky topics sa Japanese kasi paiba-iba sila. Okay? But, again, tsagaan lang po sa pag-memorize and everything will be easy pag palagi nyo siyang pinapractice. This time naman, paano mo sasabihin ang iyong year of birth? Okay, so ganito lang po yan. Una muna, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano magbasa ng numbers ng thousands. Okay? So, una po, ang thousand ay sen. Sen. Ayan. Kapag naman two thousand, that is ni sen. Ni sen. Okay? Hundred naman po is hiyaku. Hyaku. Now, if you want to say um, 900, dahil, di ba, 1990 something, or 1980, 1990, ganyan, 900 is kyuhyaku. Kyuhyaku. Okay? Umpisaan siguro natin sa 50s. Okay, 50s. Goju. Goju. Okay? Okay, so para sa mga pinanganak ng 1950s, okay, so sasabihin niyo muna, sen, then 900, then 50 is 50, okay? Sen, 900, 50. Para naman sa mga pinanganak ng 1960s, sen, 900, 60, 60 is 60. 1970s, sen, 970, sen, 970. 1980s, sen, 980, sen, 980. 1990s, sen, 990, sen, 990. Okay? Ito naman. Paano mo naman dudugtungan yon Halimbawa, 1951, 1952, ganyan. Gagamitin lang po natin yung counting na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So, if you want to say na ang birth year mo ay 1954, sasabihin mo, sen. 954年 Okay? Dadagdagan mo lang ng nen sa dulo for the year. Okay? 1954年Pinanganak ka ng 1954 And it also follows yung mga 1960-something, 1970-something, 1980-something, 1990-something. So, for example, ako pinanganak ako ng 1991, I'd say, 1991年 Okay, clear po ba? Gets po ba? O oh, sige, bigyan ko kayo ng quiz. Paano mo sasabihin na pinanganak ka ng 1989? Okay, 1989. Sige nga. Alright, that will be 1989年 Okay po? Ayan, very good. Para naman po sa mga pinanganak ng 2000 pataas, right? 2000 is 2000. So, if you were born 
um, in the year 2000, sasabihin mo, Nisen Nen. Okay? Pag 2001, Nisen Ichi Nen. Okay, so susundan nyo lang po itong counting ng 1 to 20. Okay, so halimbawa, pinanganak kayo ng 2020 pababa. Or sabihin natin 2000 hanggang 2022. Alright, 2022. Ito po yung listahan. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, kung gusto mong sabihin na pinanganak ka ng 2012 or pinanganak mo yung anak mo ng 2012, that will be 2012 nen. Don't forget the nen sa dulo. Okay po? So, ngayon, masasabi na natin ang ating mga birthday in Japanese. Complete from the year, month, and date. Okay? Sa Japanese po kasi, nauunang sabihin yung year. Okay? Year, month, date. Ang format ng pagsasabi ng birthday. Okay? So, if you want to say na ang birthday mo ay 1992, March 24th. Paano po natin sasabihin yan? March 24, 1992. Okay? That will be year mo na 1992 nene. March 3 月 24th, 24th, Okay? 1992 nene. 3 月 Okay po? <laughs> Another one. Paano naman kung sasabihin mo na pinanganak ka ng 2003, October 21 or 21st? Okay? So, October 21st, 2003. Una muna again, year, Nisen, Sanne. October, Jugatsu, 21st, 21 nichi. Okay? 2003 nen, 10 Okay? Ayan! So, I think uh, nagets gets nyo naman po ang lesson natin for today. After this video, alam nyo na kung paano sabihin ang birthday nyo in Japanese. By the way, alam ko na itong main channel ko ay maraming iba't ibang mga contents. Meron tayong Japanese language tutorial, merong travels in Japan and in the Philippines. I also share here my personal family life and my experiences as a foreigner living in Japan. And sometimes I also talk about Japanese culture. But for those who are only interested in the Japanese language, we have created a new channel for you that is... Checkmats Daily Japanese. See you there dahil doon maraming mga Japanese video lessons at mga live tutorials. Ayan. So don't forget to click the bell button para updated kayo kapag magla-live lesson kami. So before I end this video, gusto ko kayong bigyan ng quiz. Tignan natin kung meron ba kayong natutunan sa lesson natin today. Alright? Type nyo lang po yung mga sagot nyo sa comment section sa baba. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. At again, para dun sa mga gustong matuto ng Japanese language, please don't forget to subscribe to our new channel. Ito po yun. Thank you very much po for your continued support. See you again on our next video. Bye!